Hello, amazing entrepreneurs, and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the best keywords for both your Amazon product listing as well as your Amazon PPC campaigns as quickly as possible using the Helium 10 Cerebro tool. And for those of you who have already been following me for some time, you know that my two favorite tools when it comes to Amazon keyword research by far are seller tools and Helium 10 and specifically the Helium 10 Cerebro tool. So in this video, we're going to be focused on uh, Helium 10, obviously, which I've been using more recently over seller tools uh, over the past few months. And I'm going to share with you literally my exact step-by-step -step process for generating a keyword master list, basically the most important and most relevant high search keywords for your Amazon listing, as well as your Amazon PPC campaigns. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to amazon.com and recommend doing this in an incognito window. So go ahead and go to Amazon. And what you'll do is in the search bar, type in your main product keywords. What I mean by that is if a friend or a family member is to ask you, you know, Sumner, what product are you selling on Amazon again? Whatever my response is, that's what I'm going to enter here into the search bar. So in this case, let's say that I'm interested in selling white silicone rings. Okay. So what I type here is white silicone rings, right? I'm not selling silicone rings because that's too vague, but it's white silicone rings. Okay. So that's our product idea. Really simple. Don't, you know, get too worried about that step of the process. Um, just your main product keywords, enter that in uh, to the search bar. Then we look at the results, scroll past the sponsored because we want to look at the organically ranking products for what is right now our main product keyword. So scroll past sponsored because those are just sponsored ads. We want to see the organically ranking listings. And then what we're going to do is open in a new tab, 10 of your most similar competitors. Okay. Because what we're going to do is extract their data and see all of the keywords that they're ranking for all 10 of them, all the keywords that all 10 are ranking for, and then quickly kind of, I'll show you how to filter and segment through to find the most relevant and the most powerful. Okay. So basically if someone is going on Amazon and wants to buy a white silicone ring, we want to find the 10 most similar options to that search, which in some cases is really simple. In other cases, depending on the product, you might need to do a little bit more digging, but in this case, it looks like it might be a fairly simple process. So what we'll do, we'll start here. This is the first organically ranking listing, uh, white silicone ring, right? Pretty straightforward. So that's, that's definitely relevant. That's definitely going to be one of our top competitors. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. That's all I've done. Okay. Uh, we keep going through here. So they're also selling white silicone ring. So I'll go ahead and open this in a new tab, um, as well. Moving on to here. Number three, again, the style is a little bit different, but again, it's a white silicone ring. Um, go ahead and open that in a new tab and so on, right? And we would do this with the top 10 and I'll show you which other ones I will um, look into. So again, I would look at this listing for number four, scroll down, here we go. Thunderfit here would be number five. Also Thunderfit, this would be number six because they also are selling a white silicone ring here. Uh, number seven here, eight, because they have a white silicone ring here. So this is pretty straightforward, eight, nine, and then 10. Um, so yeah, so pretty straightforward. Uh, these would be the top 10 that I would choose. Don't get too hung up with this process. Um, you may be wondering, wait, is this you know more relevant than this? You know, which ones do I choose? Just overall, usually the top 10 organically ranking is what you're going to open a new tab. We're going to extract all their data. And even if they're slightly, you know, not as relevant as, as other products or whatever it might be, or you didn't select the 10 best, it's totally fine. Cause I'm going to show you how to kind of fil filter and segment through. So the key here is just casting a wide net. Then once we've opened each of these products in a new tab, what we'll do is go ahead and go to each tab. And what you can do is command F, at least on a Mac. So command F, it's the kind of the fine. And then you can type in ASIN, okay, A-S-I-N. Now I have the Helium 10 Chrome extension, which is by the way is free, um, which helps with a lot of stuff. I'm not, you know, recommending it, although it is helpful. Um, and that kind of pops up here. So I have the ASIN right here, and that shows up as you can see here. Here's the main product image on desktop. I scroll down. Um, Helium 10 has the ASIN here, but if you don't have the Helium 10 Chrome extension, uh, go back here to the command F, hit enter again. And then here we go. Underneath product details, you have the ASIN. We're going to copy this. So again, it might show up in multiple places on a listing. It doesn't matter. It's all the same number. So just all you want to do is you're going to copy, okay, on each of the tabs that you have open, find the ASIN with command F, copy the ASIN. We're going to go back to Helium 10 Cerebro. Okay. And by the way, when you have a Helium 10 account, 
You can get just Cerebro for one month if you want to kind of save some money. Although with many plans, it's also included. In my case, I do have a paid plan every month, and this is included in my plan. So once you create a Helium 10 account, just for quick reference, because I know they have a lot of tools. Um, once you kind of log in, go on the left-hand side, scroll down to keyword research, and then under keyword research, you'll see Cerebro. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll take you to the right place. And again, you can just get this tool or the entire suite for like a month. There's a bunch of different options. So once we're here in the Cerebro tool, it's really simple. Go here to the um, search or kind of the, the bar here where you can enter up to 10 product ASINs. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to enter in um, each ASIN. And by the way, ASIN stands for, what is it? Amazon Syndicated Identification Number. Basically, it's like a social security code for Amazon products. It's a, it's a way to uniquely identify each individual Amazon product, kind of a unique name or unique alphanumeric code. So that's all we're doing is this represents a specific product on Amazon. And we're going to go ahead, go to all of our tabs, and then just copy and paste each of those in here until we have 10. So to save you some time, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right. And once we have all 10 ASINs entered here, what we're going to do is click on Get Keywords. However, really quick, before we do that, there is this option that Helium 10 has to exclude variation keywords. And basically what that means is you can either choose to only identify keywords for that specific ASIN that we entered, or we can broaden our search by leaving it unchecked and also look at the keywords associated with the variations of this listing. So in this case, you know, sometimes you'll check it, sometimes you won't. In this case, think about it, we're selling white silicone rings. And some of those listings that we opened up, they had multiple different colors, which I don't really care about, right? Like purple, pink, green, things like that. So I really wanna focus on those specific um, keywords in, in the ASINs that we have and not their variations. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this. If you're not really sure, just go ahead and select this. It's a little bit safer. It'll be a little bit more of a refined search. And trust me, it, you'll still get plenty of keywords, which I'm gonna show you right now, even with kind of refining with this. So go ahead and in most cases, I would check this, click on get keywords. And basically what Helium 10 is going to do is we're gonna extract all of the keywords that these listings are ranking for which is gonna be super, super helpful because basically if our top competitors are ranking for these keywords, there's a good chance that we should be ranking for them as well. And then I'm also gonna show you how to kind of quickly sift through, um, which I'm really excited about. So we'll go ahead and kind of let Killian 10 load. All right, so that took just about a couple seconds to load. And once your screen looks something a little bit more like this with the distribution, frequently bought together, word frequency, et cetera, a lot of great kind of data that you can play with, but I'm gonna really show you where to focus on with the two main points. So first here is word count. Go ahead and for the minimum here, enter the number two, okay? Basically we wanna filter and make sure that every keyword that we ultimately generate on our list has at least two or more words that make up that phrase. So basically we're excluding words like white, ring, silicone, right? Just the word. If someone goes to Amazon types in white, you know, what are they looking for? It's way too broad. And even if we were ranking for that keyword, we, I, I wonder how many sales we would actually get at all, if any. Um, same thing with ring and even silicone. Silicone goes with so many different products. Ring is extremely competitive, maybe. Uh, but in general, one word uh, keywords, basically, or one word phrases uh, are way too broad and completely irrelevant with our Amazon PPC efforts or with our ranking efforts. And as you optimize your listing, you're going to have those single words like ring, white, and silicone already optimized in your listing just naturally. So it's basically just, you know, useless information. One word keywords are useless. That's just to put it simply, I could go on about it, but that's why we're going to input the number two here for at least two words or more. And then here's something really cool that I'm about to share with you. With you and this is one of the reasons I really love Healing Ten Cerebro. So as you can see here, look at our filtered keywords. 6,930 keywords. Oh my goodness, are you gonna create a campaign with over 6,000 keywords? Are you going to try to optimize your listing with 6,000 keywords? Probably not. So how is this helpful at all? Well, I'll show you. It, just hang with me a second. So look at also the phrases that appear here. We have ring light, we have black light, we have other terms. You know, gold ring, promise ring, or well, promise ring might be relevant. But anyway, you can see that there's a lot of irrelevant phrases here. And it may be like, oh my gosh, is this tool, you know, garbage? Is it even working? No, it is. A lot of these competitors are ranking or they're in their listing. They have these phrases for whatever bizarre reason. Maybe they did a horrible job of optimizing their listings and Helium 10 is just extracting all of that data. But I'm going to show you how to cut through all the crap. 
cut through all of those irrelevant terms. And we're gonna, so we looked at the list once and I'm gonna go through this process and then show you the, the kind of cleaned up, refreshed list. Go here to advanced filters. Once we're here, find ranking competitors. So basically this is the number of, of basically the number of those 10 competitors that are ranking for any particular phrase. So basically, all right, go here to the minimum value. The more that we increase this minimum value, the more relevant and smaller our list is going to be. So I'll say that again, the higher that we increase this minimum value. So any, it goes anywhere from one to 10. So any, or anywhere actually from zero to 10. So zero to 10, the higher that number goes, the smaller our list is going to be, but also the more relevant it's going to be. So you definitely want to be using this. And I found that this varies completely dependent on the product. It depends on, you know, uh, your product category, how many listings there are in your category, how well those listings are at optimizing their listing, how new the category is, many, many, many factors. So what you're going to do is what I'd recommend is starting off with around three for this number. So go to ranking competitors and here type in the number three, scroll down to the right hand corner and click on apply. So you saw that we had six over 6,000 keywords. Now we're basically saying, hey, um, Helium 10, only show me uh, all of the keywords where at least three of the 10 competitors um, are you know, ranking for, right? And that alone, already just by that three has drastically reduced our list down. And to me, this actually shows that a lot of these um, ASINs aren't very good at optimizing their listings. That's just something that, that I'm thinking in the back of my head right now, which is also a good sign for me because I'm gonna do a much better job. So we have a much more refined list, 536 keywords, much more manageable, a much better list I like to see somewhere for me around one to 2000 relevant keywords when optimizing my listing. Definitely though, depends on the category and I've seen this vary. So for me, I might play around with this a little bit. Maybe I'll try, you know, two and see what that does. So at least two competitors um, are ranking for all of these keywords, or there's at least two competitors ranking for each of these keywords. So we have rings for women, rings for men. I'm just gonna quickly read through to make sure this is like relevant. Silicone wedding band for men, silicone wedding bands for women. Men's rings, rubber wedding rings for men. Yep, men's rings. Perfect. Overall, this is, as you can see, me going through the list. Remember what we had before and how irrelevant it was? Now it's much more relevant just within seconds, within a few click. Uh, and I can get it more relevant right here. So when you're optimizing your listing, I'd recommend starting with somewhere between two to three as the minimum, maybe even as high as four or five, depending on your category. So usually two to five, I found is a really good match to where you reduce your list down but not too much to where you're kind of missing out on opportunities. And keep in mind, there's still gonna be some irrelevant keywords, no matter what tool you're using that come up. Uh, there's always gonna be that a little bit of that manual element, but this does a ton of the heavy lifting. And this is one of the most accurate and comprehensive tools um, on the market, period, which is why I recommend it. So it's, it's literally the best, like in terms of time um, and accuracy. So that's for optimizing your listing. I also mentioned about your Amazon PPC campaigns. For your campaigns, what I'd recommend doing is starting is for this here, right? So what you can do is um, enter in, you know, three, four, et cetera, hit apply. I'll do that just one more time. So at least three competitors or more. And what I can do uh, from here is I can go ahead and export this list. I might actually be covering it with my head. I'm not sure. Um, we're going to go ahead and there we go. In the top right corner, go ahead and export uh, either Excel or uh, CSV. So awesome. So go ahead and export that. That's the list that you're going to use to optimize your listing. And then you can create another list for your Amazon PPC campaigns. So once you download that list, awesome. Next, what we're gonna do, go back here to ranking competitors. And all we're gonna do is enter the number eight. Somewhere higher, eight or nine. Basically eight out of 10, right? That's 80%. Nine out of 10, that's 90%. So maybe between 80 to 90%. We wanna see the keywords that 80 to 90% of our competitors are ranking for. Why? Because that shows extreme relevance. So number one, of course, these should be in your listing, of course, and potentially, you know, right there in your title, super, super important. But then also these are great candidates when you're setting up new campaigns to launch, or even later on, depending on what your Amazon PPC strategy is, you definitely want to be targeting these with your Amazon PPC campaigns at some point, period, because they're very, very relevant. So in this case, right, these are right here. These are 10 of our most relevant keywords. So we have silicone ring, white ring, white silicone ring, silicone ring, white, thin silicone ring. And again, of course, depends on your product. Maybe it's not thin, maybe it's a little bit thicker, or maybe it is thin, right? So there's some of that manual element there as well. But again, this is just an example. So uh, going through, and as you can see, these are very, very relevant to our uh, product. And you may not have thought um, were, you know, 
you wouldn't have thought of these keywords on your own. So super important. Then what I would do is again, either eight or nine, eight, these are 10 keywords. So super, you know, kind of refined list. If I still had a pretty large list, then I might do nine here instead. And if we do nine, let's just see what happens. I'm going to hit nine, hit apply. We have two super refined. So white ring and white silicone ring. There you go. Right. Our two probably most relevant high search keywords. That's the key here is the relevance element and the high search. So either way, right, eight or nine, uh, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to export the second list for the second time. This is now my PPC list. These are the keywords I definitely want to be starting off with my Amazon PPC campaigns um, at either now or at some point. So now, right, within a few minutes, without me talking, right, you can get this done much faster. You have um, within a few minutes an extremely relevant list of your top searched keywords you can use to optimize your listing to get maximum visibility. And you can also use in your Amazon PPC campaigns as well. And like I said before, uh, you can either get, you know, Thelium 10 for like one month. That's what I used to do before I got the paid plan. Now I'm using it all the time. Uh, I paid for one month and then canceled. And um, if you are interested in this tool, I am an affiliate. So full disclosure, of course, uh, I've said this multiple times. You can check my description. Uh, so if you're interested, you can get 10% off for life or 50% off your first month. So it could be 50% off one month and just get this Rebro tool. In my view, I mean, it's far worth the money. Um, so just in case, in case you're interested, uh, promo code or affiliate link will be in the description. You can get a percent off depending if you want it for one month or longer. Cannot recommend Helium 10 enough. I think I'll be making more videos about this in the future. Really solid set of tools. Um, really fast, really comprehensive. Love it. Hope you guys found the video valuable. If you have questions, of course, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for your support. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.